what is going on everyone welcome to another video from featured tech in this video i'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the best Hassan 24 inch soundbar let's get started so let's begin by unboxing the soundbar okay once the box is all opened up we're going to take this out right here so here is your remote batteries and then it also comes with the speaker stand and mount the wall mount for the speaker as well so you don't have to purchase that it's all included we're going to put that aside so we can remove so you also get an added guide right here for your wall mount for your speaker so it can guide you with how to screw in and how to uh, nail everything up so we're going to put that aside and then finally we have the soundbar itself Okay, once you open up that plastic box right here, you have your quick start guide. Then you have information about your warranty and contact information for the company. Next, you have your optical cable. And then again, this is the speaker mounts for the wall mount. You also have your audio cable right here. And then you got your remote right here. One thing that fell out of the box while I was taking out the speaker is you have your power cable right here to connect the speaker up, which is very important. So now let's take a look at the speaker and let me tell you more about its features. Let me start by giving you a walk around of this sound bar. Up here, you have the normal grill that you would expect from any speaker or sound bar. And then around the speaker, which from the top, the back, it's all glossy. I don't know if you can tell the amount of fingerprints that is already accumulated on it, which usually I would be annoyed about, but it's not a big deal because you're not gonna be touching your sound bar a lot. Now, if you go to the side of the sound bar right here, you have your controls. So you have your power button, volume up, volume down, and this is to switch modes. And then if you go around the back again, right here, you have your coax cable, your optical input, a place for your auxiliary cable, your audio cable, your USB, and finally a place for your power cord. Now let me go over the remote functions. You have here obviously your power button to turn off and shut off the soundbar. Next you have your mute button, you have your volume up, your volume down, your previous track, next track, pause and play. And then right here you have your optical cable, you have your coaxial cable, Bluetooth, USB, and auxiliary cable um, options. So if you are trying to use a Bluetooth, just press on the BT button. If you're trying to use it with your optical cable, just press OPT right here. Next, you have your movie, music, and dialogue, which are the three equalizer modes that I mentioned. Next, you have your treble plus, treble minus, your reset option, and your bass plus, your bass minus. Now, the reset option is in case you customize it too much and you just wanna reset the settings, you can do that by just pressing reset. Another thing I wanna go over is what the light right here represents. So currently it's blinking blue, which means that it is in Bluetooth mode and it's ready to be paired to any device you're trying to pair it to. You also have red for standby. Then you have white for your optical cable. You also have green for your coaxial cable. And then finally you have this magenta purple color for USB. So this color can change and you can actually uh, change up the modes that you're trying to use using this button right here. And if you don't want to use that button as well, you have right here on the remote, you can select which connection you would like. Moving on to features, beginning with connectivity. With connectivity, you can use this soundbar wired, such as the ways that I showed you earlier in the video, using your auxiliary cable, coaxial cable, USB, uh, really any method of wired connection that you can use, you can use it with this soundbar. Now, if you don't wanna use it wired, you do have a wireless option. This speaker does feature Bluetooth 5.0 technology, which means that it can actually pair with two devices at the same time. Of course, not work at the same time with two devices, 
but it can be paired to two devices at one time. Now, moving on to speaker specs. This soundbar features two full range sound drivers, as well as twin bass reflex tubes that help enhance and make the bass sounds a lot more richer and deeper. This speaker also features three equalizer modes, which are movie, music, and dialogue. And as well as this speaker is very compact. And the measurements of this speaker are actually 24 by 3.2 by 3.8 inches. So it's very compact and they're saying that it's good for any TV that is 32 inches and up. But I'm gonna be using it with my TV, which is 55 inches. So I really wouldn't worry about the compatibility of the TV size. I think this soundbar would look very good regardless of the size of the TV that you're using. Now that we discuss features, let's now test out the sound of the soundbar. Now, in order for me to do that, I'm gonna play music, royalty-free EDM music at 25, 50, and 100% volume, so you can get a better listen for it. And then later after that, we're gonna be also testing out the three equalizer modes as well. So let's first begin with the sound test. Now that I played the sound for you guys so you can test it out and hear it for yourself, let's check out the EQ modes. So I'm gonna be testing out all three EQ modes and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna play the sound bar as normal at 100% volume and then I will activate it while you are listening to the sound bar so you can hear the difference. So let's do that now. What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing a MOOC PC soundbar. Let's get started. So that was the sound quality and equalizer test. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on the sound quality and if you were able to tell the difference between the three equalizer modes. Let me now share with you my thoughts on this soundbar. Now this is a very budget friendly soundbar and after all the promo promotions are factored in, you're looking to spend about 40, 45 bucks for a soundbar which is really not that bad at all for what you're getting here. Because if you're looking for a professional grade soundbar that does like all, that has all the bells and whistles, and you know what I'm talking about, the big brand names, I'm not gonna mention them per se, but you know, anything that is very professional, heavy duty, you know, from the big brands, you're looking to spend about anywhere from 400 to even a thousand, even a couple thousand. But for 40 bucks with this soundbar, I think it really does a job well done. And if I had the option of keeping it or returning it, I would keep it because for 40 bucks, you really can't go wrong. And personally, I thought the sound quality of the soundbar was really good. I was able to hear a lot of clean sounding bass. And when I put it in either music or movie mode, it got an even a little bit more louder so I can get a better sound of bass and treble and everything involved. Not to mention that in the remote, like I already showed you, you can, you know, add extra bass or decrease the bass. So it is customizable to an extent to your liking. So for everything you're getting with the speaker, as far as the different wired options, the Bluetooth 5.0 technology, the two three inch, uh, you know, full range drivers in there, everything you're getting with this soundbar is in my opinion worth the 40 even 60 or 70 dollars without the promotion so 
If you're in the market for a soundbar that's budget friendly, I would definitely consider this soundbar before you look deep into the internet. And not to mention that Bestason, it's not my first time working with this company. They've I've actually unboxed and reviewed one of their sound bars previously on the channel about a year and a half ago. And you guys seem to really enjoy that video. It's about 19,000 views so far. So again, really nice sound bar for the price. You're getting a lot of different features and I would definitely consider it if you're on the market for a budget friendly sound bar. So this was my unboxing and review for the Bestasan 24 inch soundbar. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. I hope you have a great day. Take care.